Seriously, whatever you do, don't take melatonin for sleep. It's not going to solve your problem. It's actually going to end up making so that you have worse sleep problems. And I'm going to be talking about all of that in today's video. Hey, if you don't know who I am, I'm Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist. And my passion is to help you understand like what is even going on in your body and why these things matter. Speaking of sleep, if you actually hear a little bit of snoring, I swear it's not me, it's actually my dog. Here, let me show you right now. Oh. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some strategies on how you can actually get really great sleep without using melatonin But first I want to start off with like the most basic thing right here that we should understand. What is melatonin? It's naturally produced in our body so Melatonin helps to put you into a state of deep sleep and this deep sleep is really important because you need that in order to have this rest and recovery time from your previous day. The amount of sleep in general that you need is really determinant on how much like quote-unquote damage you did to your body the day before. So like if you are a pro athlete for example and you are working out so much and that's really increasing your inflammation because you're working out so much you need more sleep I know when I was training for a triathlon and for the marathon I needed a lot more sleep because I was putting so much stress on my body from how much exercise I was doing and this could even be for chronic diseases if you suffer from some type of chronic disease or if you have recently had surgery you're going to need more sleep because you need more rest in order to recover from that so you can see how if we don't get that sleep especially if you do have some type of of chronic illness or if you are an athlete or even just a regular person like in your day-to-day -day stressors that we have throughout life you can see how not getting the sleep can actually be pretty detrimental because that means you're never recovering so by never recovering your body's always playing catch-up and there's actually studies that have found that if you don't get great sleep especially high quality sleep with the deep sleep then you ultimately can end up having increased inflammation the next day because your body never had that time to recover so deep sleep is very important therefore melatonin very important I know a lot of people take a melatonin supplement because it seems like the natural thing to do instead of taking like some sleep medication. Taking melatonin from the outside in is not a natural thing to do. In fact, there's this whole system within our body called the negative feedback loop. It's this process that our body has developed where if we provide our body something it already produces and it's going to start to decrease the production of whatever it is because it's like, you know, I don't need to be creating this and wasting energy on creating more of it because you're already providing it. So with melatonin, if you take take melatonin at night and your body will be like, oh, okay, so I'm getting it already. I don't need to keep producing this. So it'll actually start producing it less and less and make it so that you need to take more and more and more. And ultimately it'll make it so that we get into even more of an imbalance because we are constantly supplementing it and making it so our body won't produce it itself. And so the goal with this, instead of taking that melatonin from the outside in, you want to figure out ways in order to increase your melatonin that your body is naturally producing. That way you won't get addicted to taking melatonin supplement and have it be where you can never go to sleep or never get deep sleep because you have been taking these melatonin supplements for so long. So first of all, we need it to be dark out in order for melatonin to be produced, which just makes a lot of sense if you think about it. It's smart for our body not to want to be sleepy during the day. So this whole evolution of melatonin being triggered when it's dark out is actually a really important thing that we have in general. So that's why like using your phone right before bed is actually pretty detrimental to your melatonin production because it totally shuts off melatonin melatonin from being produced because you're just staring into this little screen which is just light and so that's tricking your brain into thinking it's daytime so it's like no nah, nah, I'm not going to produce that melatonin right now because you have to get up and get going. And one of the biggest culprits actually really two of the biggest culprits are your TV and your phone. I've explained this before but I have a long history of anxiety so I used to think that the only way I could fall asleep was by watching TV. I literally played the same movie every single night before I went to bed because my anxiety was so high in order to fall asleep for probably about six or seven years. I literally know every single word to Back to Future 1 or 2 because of how many times I've seen it from trying to fall asleep to it. And I know a lot of other people do this too and it tends to be people like me who have had a history of anxiety. You want to play something on TV because you, you know, you think like, oh well it'll help to drown out my own thoughts, my own anxious thoughts that I might be having so that I can go to sleep. But what that ultimately causes is it makes it so you never get into that state of deep sleep when you do fall asleep because you were watching TV right right before you went to bed. And that makes it so you have increased inflammation, increased cortisol levels the next day, 
which ultimately leads to increased anxiety as well. All those years that I thought I was doing something right was actually making my anxiety worse. By the way, if you're really interested in this type of science detail, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So tip number one, making sure that you unplug. No tech time, 60 minutes before bed. Again, the reason why is so that you aren't looking directly into the light so that your melatonin can naturally increase because it sees that it's dark out. It sees that it's nighttime so you can go to sleep. Stress is another thing that causes us to not be able to go to sleep. And when I say stress, I don't just mean emotional stress, although that is a problem. I mean cortisol, so the stress hormone. I have a lot of videos on this as well that really covers the natural circadian rhythm of cortisol and why it matters to decrease your cortisol later in the evening for sleep. I talk about it a lot in this video. If you have higher cortisol levels later in the day, then that'll make it so that you can't produce melatonin. So if you do feel like you tend to have anxiety or that you do have high stress, or maybe you don't think you have high stress, there are physical stressors like exercising late at night can actually cause increased cortisol cortisol later at night as well, make it so it's more difficult to fall asleep. Just regardless, if you aren't getting great sleep, you may have a cortisol problem. Definitely check out these videos. The whole hormone balancing series really dives deep into this on how you can balance your cortisol levels. But one little fun tip that you can do to make sure that you include a half a cup to a cup of healthy starchy carbs at night with your dinner, because that has been found to naturally decrease your cortisol levels, which allows for melatonin to be increased. Now, when I'm saying healthy starchy carbs, I'm talking about like sweet potatoes, even beans are a good one squash, just including some variety of a healthy starchy carb in with your dinner time will help to make it so that you can naturally produce that melatonin as well. So as we know, sleep is a really, it's a complex issue. It, there's not just one thing that's going to solve it, but this is a really good place to start. So just knowing that melatonin, just taking melatonin from the outside in, knowing that that's not going to ultimately solve your problem is a huge step. What we need to do is to increase that melatonin naturally, help our bodies to be able to produce it, and that'll help us get to that state of deep sleep where we wake up feeling rested, where we wake up feeling energized and we don't wake up throughout the night. And ultimately all of that will result in us having better health and feeling more energized throughout the day as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And if you love all of this science-backed nutrition information, make sure you subscribe because I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, well I will see you in the next video. Bye.